Okay, so this is a pretty basic Marinsas deck. I have played with a, different, a few different versions of it, including Atlantean. I even tried Ice Barriers and a more Paleozoic type of uh, mix with frogs. But this is what I like, and you're going to probably notice right away that, yes, I'm running Dark Magician, Red Ice Black Dragon, Red Ice Fusion, and one Dragoon, because Marinsas is not a perfect deck. It's not really fantastic, and I can't compete with a lot of meta decks, obviously. So I'm just throwing that in for a little bit of a boost because sometimes you don't open a perfect hand and we'll go over what hands we can do and uh, some other some other things with the deck. So obviously with that out of the way, with uh, the Dark Magician Dragoon package out of the way, I'm going to talk about the main cards. So we got three, um, Rinsa's Blue Tang, one of the most important cards to start with other than uh, Pascalus. And I'll t explain what all these cards do in a test hand and combo and, what that, uh, and whatnot. But pretty much this is your starter slash extender and this is your main starter uh, card. So Pascalus, when this card is normal or special summoned, it can be either or, you can special summon a Marinsas monster from your hand in defense position. So you mainly want to summon Pascalus and go into Blue Tang if possible. Blue Tang, if normal or special summoned, you can send a Marinsas from your deck to your graveyard, which is actually helpful to send Seahorse. I'll get to that in a second. So we're running three Silent Angler. Silent Angler is a pretty boring card, but it is helpful as an extender. Uh, if you control a water monster, which all of your cards except for Ash are water monsters, you can special summon it from your hand, but you can't special summon another card from your hand for that turn. So this is the last extender you want to use if you are using one. Uh, it's level four, so it can go into uh, Bahamut Shark to make totally awesome. And that's pretty much one of the main reasons. It's also good for your links. Then we got two Seahorse, which you're going to want to send with Marincess. So when uh, this card is in your graveyard, you can special summon it. Okay, so you can special summon it from your hand. And then, sorry, you're going to use one of your Link Monsters to return it to your hand after you send it to the graveyard with Blue Tang. Getting a little confused. Sorry, then you're running three Ash Blossom, which is just a hand trap. You can th I have a side deck here that shows a bunch of other hand traps you can use. I even have uh, Mystic Mind, because everybody I want everybody to hate me, obviously. Um, then we have three Swap Frog. We're running the whole... The whole frog package here we got three swaps we're running one ronin and uh two dupe frogs so obviously i'm sure you guys all know what it does you know you summon frog you send one of your uh other frogs to the graveyard you bring it back to your hand special summon it send another frog and then you can special summon the other frog to make totally awesome or you can really go into the verte anaconda you can go into some of your other monsters if you want as well but it just leaves more options if you don't get the perfect opening hand it just has extra things you can do you know or it's really nice if you have a good hand with the marincess then you can go into swap frog as well then we're running running one princess uh marincess mandarin so if you control two more marincess monsters while this card is in your hand or graveyard you can uh, special target one link monster you control special summon this to the to the link arrow so there's another one you can send with blue tang if you don't want to use seahorse for whatever reason we already went over the red eyes fusion you can take out the Red Us package and put in whatever you want. I'm just doing it for the extra little boost that sometimes this deck needs. Then we got three Sign Up Mining, a really important card. It pretty much makes you have six Blue Tang or six Pascalist, whatever you don't open. Uh, if you open one of the two, you can search for this. You send a card to the graveyard from your hand, and then you add a level four or lower Cybers monster. Most of these are Cybers. All the Marincess are Cybers, so it's important. Um, you can discard if you really wanted one of the frogs or something else. Or maybe one of the traps you don't want. You could uh, discard the Paleozoic. Um, Book of Moon, not important to the deck at all. You can take this out for whatever. I was just testing with it and I left it in before starting with deck profile. It is not a core part of the deck. It's not really that great at all. Um, I just have it in for whatever reason. I was just testing the different side deck cards in Nibiru. Lancia, DD Crow. DD Crow's not even the best side deck card, but I was just playing around against different decks. Then one, Marinsa's Battle Ocean. It is your field spell, which is searchable from your Link Monsters. We'll go over that in a second as well. And it pretty much, once you, if you have it on the field, your Marinsa's get a little bit of an attack boost, which is not a big deal, but it, it does more when, um, when synergized with your Link Monsters. Then we're doing evenly matched. Because this deck is not that great at sending about out a bunch of monsters to the field i feel like evenly matched would be something that will actually make the deck uh com like competitive against decks that are so oppressive i wouldn't okay 
competitive maybe not the best word, but at least it has a chance, more or less. Then the Paleozoic is to help go into Totally Awesome and just to have something extra. It's a bluff, it's just uh, another card. Um, I didn't really like the full Paleozoic package. I know a lot of people like Running Frog with more Paleos than just one certain card. Uh, I guess you could like take out the Book of Moons and add like Kanadia or the other Paleozoic if you want. I, don't, I guess Kanadia is probably not the best choice, but. Then we got Marinsa's Wave, which is your main Marinsa's Trap, and it's really, really important to the deck. Uh, you probably don't want to run less than three, but if you control it, Marinsa's, you target a face of monster your opponent controls and negate that monster's effects until the end of the turn. And if you control a link to or higher Marinsa's, all face of monsters you currently control are unaffected by your opponent's card effects until the end of the turn. Big mouthful, but it's super important to, to do. And that's, that's the whole main deck. Um, yeah, so you can take out like the three uh, of the Dragoon package and the three of the Book of Moon, and you could probably fit in six other cards that you want. Maybe you want more Ash Trap or more Ash Traps, more Hand Traps like Ash, or maybe you want to run the Nibiru in the main deck. But speaking of Nibiru, it's also a really good point is this deck will start link climbing, and Nibiru is something you're really going to want to think about your opponent having in their hand because it, it does special summon a lot. So from left to right, which is pretty much I don't know, even like least important. Uh, you know, let's go right to left. So Crystal Heart. Crystal Heart, really, it's just two water monsters. You can do the frogs if you want. It does not have to be Marinsus, which is nice. Uh, but when you use it with Marinsus Battle Ocean, it's in the, it's in the like actual extra deck uh, Link Monster Zone. It has an extra effect. Uh, it's just it's just really nice, and it is really important to notice that once you start summoning these Marinsus Links, you can only special summon water type monsters for the rest of the turn so if you go into some of these marinsas you can't go into anaconda or mascarena or um underworld goddess of the closed world because it just won't work so anyways yeah one crystal heart one sea angel sea angel will search for your uh, battle ocean so you only run one um you might want to run two just in case uh maybe maybe you feel like one sea angel isn't enough you can run two but i was i chose to run two blue slugs instead of two sea angels Blue Slug is one you like you're almost always gonna be your first link summon with a Marincess card. It only requires one level four or lower Marincess, which is why it's gonna be your first one most of the time. If it's link summoned, target a Marincess in your graveyard, except if you had Blue Slug, add it to your hand. So the combo with that would be summon Pascalus, special summon Blue Tang, Blue Tang sends Seahorse. Use uh, the card to make Blue Slug, add it to your hand, you can special summon Seahorse, so it's kind of like searches it. Even though it's sent to the graveyard first. We're running one Verte Anaconda to run with the uh, Red Eyes Fusion. If you don't want to run that package, you obviously don't need Verte Anaconda. Maybe you could run a Crystal Heart or a uh, Water Charmer. You could, you don't have to. Or you could run a second Sea Angel, whatever you want. Um, one Mascarena, because I'm only really doing this to go into Underworld Goddess, which is pretty much my uh, removal if I can't do it another way. Um, I really don't ever use Mascarena and Underworld Goddess, but it's just there if I need to. An enemy is one of your better Marincha's links. Just, it requires two water monsters, so it's very easy to make. You target a water monster with 1500 or less attack and graveyard, special summon to the, a zone this card points to, so it's really good for extending and thing climbing with that. But again, you can't special summon anything else other than water monsters. Then we got Marbled Rock, one of your main boss monsters you're going to summon. It requires two or... or two minimum water monsters you target a marinsus in your graveyard and add it to your hand so it can be helpful for getting a seahorse or getting mandarin or something like that appaloosa is again maybe with ip mascarena um really didn't use it uh, it can be replaced but i just have it there just in case because you never know what you're gonna go against sometimes right then we got wonder heart and, and bubble reef those are your other two bosses other than marbled rock if you don't like them you could run more mar marbled rock, maybe run more uh, crawl an enemy. If you're not running the dragoon package, you can just run some more of those, and it's just helpful. You can take out like Verte Anaconda and dragoon, and add maybe one more marbled and uh, another bubble reef or something. But anyways, Wonder Heart, not really something I always go into, but it's nice to have once in a while because you can special summon a uh, Marincess. Uh, once per battle during damage calculation, if you battle, you can special summon a Marincess monster from uh, the. That this card is equipped to uh it can be destroyed by battle and you take no battle damage so it's just good for that um and then bubble reef is probably the main one you're going to want to go to if you don't do marble rock 
It's again, two plus water monsters. Once per turn during a standby phase, you can banish one water monster from your graveyard or face up on the field, draw one card. So it's just very helpful for continuously being able to, um, you know, obviously draw. And uh, yeah, it's just really nice. It works with Marincis Ocean. I'll show you why Marincis Ocean is, uh, Battle Ocean is important in a second. Underworld Goddess, if you don't know, you can use one of your opponent's monsters to link summon this. And that's pretty much the only reason I have it, is for that kind of removal. Totally awesome, you should know. I'll have a shark make it totally awesome. And then we got Dragoon. And I'll show you some combos now with a test hand, uh, because probably just hearing all that is not the best way to uh, lure the deck. So here we go, it's not a not a perfect hand, but you know, it's normal summon Pascalus. Pascalus can then special summon a monster from the hand of Marincis monster. So I can go into Seahorse or Mandarin. So let's go into Mandarin. Then we can special summon one of our Marincis. I'm gonna go into Blue Slug, get rid of Mandarin, get Blue Slug on the field, use Blue Slug. I can add Mandarin back to my hand. Then I can special summon Seahorse to where the blue slug is pointing it only points down that's why i had to use the one in this zone i got three monsters on the field now i could go into a lot of different things but i want to get the field spell on the field so one level four or lower marincess i have to go to seahorse obviously because that's where the uh, points activate sea angel's effect sea angel will look for battle ocean so you only need to one run one for that reason you can activate battle ocean right now if you would like to it boosts up your monster so that's not really important at all then you can special summon from here. You can go into Crystal Heart because Crystal Heart, other than the fact it's unaffected if, when it's in the extra monster zone. Um, here, I'll just show you. So you run, you use this. Now, Battle Ocean will add the link and equip the link. So I'm not going to do that yet because I want to do that in a second. So I can go into now um, an enemy or Marbled Rock. I'm going to just for the sake of it go into Marbled Rock, use these two. Then I'm going to activate. Activate Marincis Battle Ocean to equip the monsters I just sent. One, two, three. All to it, giving Marble Drug 4,500 attack. I can activate her effect. I can add one of these cards to my hand. Um, let's add Seahorse, because I already have a Pascalus in my hand. Can't use Seahorse's effects once per turn. Can't do anything with the cards in my hand. So it's not a fantastic turn one, but you do have 4,500 attack monster. Um... When your opponent monster declares an attack, I can send a Marincis from my hand to the graveyard, and then I can't be destroyed by battle, so if they were able to get over me. But this is obviously not a perfect turn one, but it's just one of the turn ones you can do. So if I restart it, another hand. So for example, for this hand, I can activate Signet Mining and discard my Paleozoic, because it actually works in the graveyard almost better. I can add my Pascalus to my hand with Pascalus and Blue Tang, it's really good. I can summon Pascalus. Oscillus will use her effect to special summon Blue Tang. Blue Tang will then use her effect, which is important. It's a very good two-card combo. Send Seahorse to the graveyard. Then with Blue Tang, I will make Slug. I can activate both Blue Tang and uh, Blue Tang. Wow, Blue Tang and Blue Slug or whatever. So I'm gonna add Seahorse back to my hand. Then I'll also chain Blue Tang's effect in the graveyard. You'll look at the top three cards in my deck, add a card to my hand as long as it's a Marincess card, which is only blue tang, which kind of sucks. I was hoping for a, a better card than that. So then I have Seahorse and blue tang in my hand. I can special summon Seahorse. And then I could go into whatever I wanted. I can add, how about let's add the field spell. And then the field spell will be important, of course. And last time I went into Crystal Heart, but if I don't want to do that, this time I can go into an enemy. So I can make an enemy looking at, down from Blue Slug and activate her effect. Her effect will special summon a monster from the uh, graveyard. I already used the effects of these monsters, so I'm just going to choose uh, Blue Tang because I like Blue Tang. Why not? I got three monsters on the field. I could go into another. Uh, I could go into Bubble Reef at this point because I got two plus water monsters. But. An enemy is a link two, so I could also make Crystal Heart here, activate Battle Ocean, then make Bubble Reef with these two. Then I can activate Battle Ocean, and if I wanted to, I could activate an enemy. So let's activate an enemy first, add a card to my hand for a follow up, which is important. I already have a blue tank, so I'm going to add Pascalus as a follow up. 
and then I'll be able to equip these three, you can only do three, link monsters to the bubble reef. I could set evenly matched, which is a good card to have, because um, I only have one monster on the field, and I can set wave, and I know it doesn't look like much, but it's just, that's why you're running evenly matched, and this deck is not great, it's not perfect, but this is just some of the things you can do, so you can't see it right now, but eventually, Bubble Roof will just draw me cards. So like I end, end phase, the other player goes, as soon as his turn starts, I can activate Bubble Reef. I can vanish from my graveyard. Let's say, you know, I only have one Battle Ocean, so if it's gone, it's gone. Let's get rid of Sea Angel. I draw a card, I have an Ash now. So main phase one starts, if he does anything, I have an Ash, because I just hard drew that off. My Bubble Reef goes up to 5,200, so he has to get rid of this. It's very, like, it's just detrimental. I can evenly match, I can rinse his wave. So it's, it's not perfect, but it's a pretty good card, or a pretty good opening turn for Marantas. So let's start off another op uh, another combo. Now that we don't have even a single Marantas Yasher, we have Silent Mining, pretend we don't have that. We have the Frogs. So we can Special Summon the Frog by getting rid of Silent Angler, because I don't like Silent Angler, even though I'm running it. I can use Frog's Effect after Special Summoning to send a Dupe Frog. Then I can activate Swap Frog, return him to my hand. And I can summon, I can special summon another frog, but let's just normal summon, pretend we don't have two swap frogs, and we'll send Ronin Toten to the graveyard. Now we can activate Ronin Toten. You might want to send him first, just in case, I don't know. Uh, and we'll special summon him by banishing the dupe frog. Now at this point, we could make Verte Anaconda, IP Masquerina, we could go into an enemy, we can go into Totally Awesome. But like, just for the sake of it, let's go into Verte Anaconda. I could activate in my grave Ronin Toten again to get Swap Frog out of here. Special Summon Ronin Toten. I could activate Silent Mining and discard, let's just do that. Let's activate Silent Mining. We'll discard the Paleozoic. We'll add, who do you want to add? We could add Blue Tang just for the sake of it. At this point we could even Special Summon Swap Frog again. Or we can activate Verte Anaconda to copy and summon Dragoon. And then you can have a Dragoon on the field to get rid of these dead cards from my deck. Um, then you have, so we have, now we have cards to discard with four Dragoon. Obviously having a 500 attack Verte Anaconda and a 2000 defense Ronin Toten aren't important. Can't special summon Top Frog anymore because of the Red Eyes Fusion and the Anaconda. But not a very great, like look at this field, this field sucks. But if you were just bricks and you didn't have the sign up mining and you didn't have the second swap frog and it's just a something you can do this is a terrible uh explanation combo to showcase of a deck this is obviously not a good field to end on on turn one it's just an example of something you can do if you're open up the least ideal hand possible essentially it's just something you can do i know a lot of other decks are stronger and better and do more when you open up a bad hand and they can go crazy no matter what hand they open especially with the new pendulum cards the um, Dorema cord cards are out, they can go crazy with pendulums, or you know, Dragon Link are obviously way better, but this is just, you know, a rogue deck. I really like Marincha, it's one of my favorite archetypes, and I just wanted to showcase what this deck can do. There are, of course, obviously better decks, and of course there are different and potentially better combos. You can take out a lot of these things and make the deck work drastically different if you would like. Now with four extra deck slots, six extra main deck slots, maybe you want to take out evenly matched as well. There's just a lot of room, you can do whatever you want. You don't like Ash Blossom, that's fine. Look at this. The main core concept of this deck, in my opinion, is these 28 cards. You can maybe even get out Silent Angler, you can get that there's a seahorse, a different seahorse other than the Marissa seahorse you could add. You know, you don't need to add this. You could have five extra deck slots available, a bunch of slots available in your main deck, and you can still do great with this and I hope this helps anybody I don't have these cards in real life I really want to but because of the big vid going on right now I haven't been able to order them so I hope hope this helps I want to get these cards especially these 28 in real life so I can do a real life deck profile I'm not just an EDO pro deck profile but I hope you enjoyed if you did enjoy stick around I do a lot of dual links videos not really necessarily uh, the TCG but yeah hopefully this was helpful to somebody